Hello again everyone. Just thought I'd share with you a little project I've been working on as one of my isolation projects, one of many. Um, at first glance it seems to be a, a box standard co-practice oscillator, you know, in just the volume, quite loud, in fact quite very loud, yeah. So you set the volume to whatever you like as usual and that's it. Seems fairly straightforward, nothing particularly mind-boggling different there. Um, but let me show you what differences there is between this code practice oscillator and uh, most of the oscillators you'll come across. Okay, I'll turn it off, unplug the key, put that out the way, and now I'll just plug in one of these special cheap eBay uh, paddle keys. Um, can't say they're brilliant, if you've never looked at one before. Uh, they're quite cheap, probably about uh, £10 or so. They do work, and they're okay for this sort of uh, application, but uh, I'm not going to replace, um, it's not going to replace a bencher or anything like that. Anyway, let's turn it on. So I'll turn it on with that key inserted. Um, you'll note I'm setting the, the second control there. That's the speed control, so that's your volume, that's speed. And as you've probably already gathered, very difficult to do when you're trying to uh, use uh, on the phone with one hand and playing with the key with the other. But you'll get the idea. Basically just a co-practice oscillator um, for anyone using a paddle key. Uh, adjustable speed. And we can go the other way. Give you some idea of the range of the speed. So I'll set it to somewhere in the middle. So that's um, a second use for the code practice oscillator. Now a third use, this is going to be interesting, with one hand, turn the unit off, squeeze both paddles together while turning the unit on, there we go. Now we're in Morse tutor mode and we're sending random uh, letters in groups of five. Adjustable speed, take the gap, take the delay, the speed, the gap out. And we can put a gap in which is quite long if you really need it. I'll word in a minute about the, the character speed. Okay, so you've got the idea of that. I'll get rid of the gap just so, so that you can see what it does. Very small gap inserted there. Now, if you press and hold the left paddle key, we've changed the mode down to numbers. Again, M for mixed. And a more interesting one, again, C, and it's in call sign mode. Now, in call sign mode, the pitch of each call sign will change slightly, as you can hear. And also the speed can change randomly as well. Just add a little bit more interest to it. So I'll leave it on that mode for a moment. Oh, it's a little slower. Now, the speed control acts as the gap control, so let's get rid of all the gap. And you can see there's the difference between speeds. You can introduce artificial gap if you need to while you're learning. Let's get back out again. Let's move it out. Press it in all again. And we switch back to letter mode. And that's it. So it's a most practice oscillator with a difference. I'll turn it off again. Turn it off and back on. And now depending on what key you've got inserted, I didn't show you that. Oh it did, didn't I? Yeah, whatever key you've got inserted when you turn it on, it automatically senses and switches back to practice oscillator mode. With a straight key, if you want to get into the uh, Morse tutor, all you need to do is just press and hold it down as you turn the unit on. 
and goes into a tutor mode. That's it. It's going to be a nice cheap little um, unit. And I'll show you inside a couple of photos at the end of the video what's, what it looks like, the little printed circuit board. Um, looking, I think it's going to be about £12.50 for the, uh, the, the, the board with the speaker, the controls and LED knob and sockets and everything. The only thing you'll need to provide will be a, a case and a, um, a battery, a normal 9 volt battery that it runs on. The case I'm using, well, I'm going to do a nice little sticker for the top. Um, that's from RS Components. Uh, it's a very nice, st good, sturdy case. Um, if anyone's interested, I'll, I'll put it on the instructions. I'll put the part number that you can get it from. It's probably about £3 or so, something like that, which isn't too bad for such a, uh, a decent quality uh, box for it. Okay, I hope you've uh, found that interesting and uh, all of you are keeping safe. Uh, this won't be for sale until after the, uh, the virus is all gone because I'm not going to the post office. I'm sort of self-isolating myself, so uh, I hope everyone else is uh, keeping okay and uh, we all make it through this. Okay, seven through for now. Everyone take care.